If you've ever grabbed your laptop and trying to turn it on and it won't turn on, it can be pretty frustrating. So what I've done is I've put together a handful of tips here to see if we can go ahead and figure out what's wrong with the laptop and get it fixed. So the first thing you want to do is identify right here where the power LED is on the laptop for when it's charging. Second, you want to take your power adapter and plug it in and then it should go ahead and light up as an indicator that it is charging. Now this might be a solid light or it could be that it's blinking like in this particular case. Now if you don't get any indicator whatsoever that it is charging then you want to verify the power that the power adapter is plugged into. Now a simple way to do that is to go ahead and take like a lamp and just plug it in that you already know that's working in another plug and if it turns on then of course you have power. And once you've done that you might want to go ahead and take your power brick and unplug the cable from it and then plug it back in and then go ahead and plug it back to the wall but ideally you should be using a surge protector more on that later now if it's still not turning on then it could be something that is just corrupted in memory and how you can go ahead and easily fix that now if your battery is easily removable like this one here you can go ahead and pull these tabs out so this one here goes ahead and locks and this one here still requires pressure and we pull this out and then pull the battery out. Really hard to do on camera. <laughs> so anyways, once this is out, you wanna go ahead and open up your laptop, then hold down the power button for about 30 seconds. And what this is doing is it is discharging any electricity that is still in the laptop so that if something is corrupted in memory, preventing it from booting, then this might resolve the issue. Then after 30 seconds has gone by, take the battery and reconnect it. Now, in the event that your laptop does not have a removable battery, if you are comfortable with it and at your own risk, you could go ahead and take a screwdriver and disassemble your laptop and then unplug the battery. Now, each make and model is different, so the procedure on doing so uh, is not going to necessarily be the same across multiple models. And one of the best ways to go ahead and figure that out is to go ahead and search for that particular make and model on YouTube, or even better yet, look at the manufacturer's maintenance guide on the manufacturer's support website. Now, if your laptop still isn't turning on, hopefully it's giving some kind of beeps as an indicator as to what is wrong. If so, then go ahead and Google your make and model plus the words of beep codes to go ahead and see what those mean. It could identify that something is loose, like your memory might not be getting detected. It could have went bad for whatever reason. And the motherboard beep codes is the way that it communicates to you to let you know what is wrong. Now, how this could have happened is from a power surge. So earlier I was briefly talking about using a surge protector rather than plugging it directly to the wall. And this is because there can be some fluctuations in the power that are unexpected and that could potentially cause corruption and or damage to your equipment. So if you don't have a surge protector or if you don't know and it might just be a power strip, go ahead and turn the power strip over and look to see if it has any joules rating for protection. If it doesn't, then chances are it's just a standard power strip and I would highly recommend replacing that. Now, if you're still having problems, go ahead and drop a comment Comment below and let me know what's wrong with your machine and what steps you've already taken to try to go ahead and troubleshoot. And if this did fix your issue, then consider subscribing. Go ahead and slap that like button or even just go ahead and say thanks with the thanks button.